Hi everyone, <coughs> it's Karen from Tilligraphs.co.uk and I'm an independent Stamping Up demonstrator and today I'm bringing you a Make It Thursday video and this brilliant floating and fluttering stamp set. This is one of the cards I've made and I've also made this one. This is just stamped, that die cut out and I've also done this one, Sending Positive Thoughts die cut out and I actually punched a couple of butterflies out with the butterfly punch out of the annual catalogue oh, I've got a dimensional backing they get everywhere Winker Stella on it love the Winker Stellas don't know if you can see that glistening <laughs> so these are done in Melon Mambo um, Flirty Flamingo Melon Mambo Gorgeous Grape stamped off and Gorgeous Grape Daffodil Delight, Mango Melody and Granny Apple Green. So let's get started. I can't remember what I've cut out and what I haven't. <laughs> so I've got everything prepared, but we are going to do some stamping. And this one's going to be a Mango Melody one. And that's all the bits cut out. So we're doing this one first. Right, so this one is in gorgeous grape. So we have a card base. So it's an A4, scored in half, cut in half, and I've got them two bases. Both layers are three and seven eighths by five and five eighths. The stamping layer is three and five eighths by five and three eighths, and we have a label. <laughs> uh, and it's the same measurements for this one. And I can't remember which way round I'm doing them. Yes, that's all right. I know which way I'm going now. <laughs> Don't take a lot, does it? Right, this set is in the new catalogue, the mini catalogue, July to June. And let me just find where it is. It is on page 61. lots of lovely new stuff in there so if you follow me you'll be seeing lots of projects that i've made so this is the floating and fluttering set and um, you see a little green mini here this means it will go through the new mini stamp and em cotton emboss machine which i hopefully i'll have mine soon I've, I've got the bigger version and they'll go through that just the same so you can buy the stamp set separate you can buy the die separate or if you want to buy them as a bundle and save 10% you use this code here. If you put these in separate you won't get the 10% off, they'll charge you the normal rate. So you have to remember that if you buy in a bundle you use this code here for the 10% off. Right, let's get started. So for this one I'm going to do it this way round. And it's going to bring it because I'm going to have a label on here, but I'm going to stamp the butterflies. And let me see, this is the just stamping straight onto the card. Um, I decided to use because this one, if you notice, hasn't got any words in it. I also decided to bring in this stamp set, Wonderful as You, and this again is in the January to June catalog. And I love this one, Sending Positive Thoughts. So I thought we'd have that one, which I'll get it out now. And I haven't got my backing on. So if you hang on two minutes, I'll, you can watch me put the backing on. <laughs> Usually I do them all at once and I just wanted to play with it. So you just line it up, stick it down and peel it off. And job's a good one. Right, let's pop that out the way. And we are going to stamp this in Memento Ink. Pick it up. Stamp it up. Just like to make, I've just re-inked this pad, so I just want to make sure it's all covered. And, oops, move that out of the way. Bring this in. I want to centre it up like so sending positive thoughts fabulous leave it up there to dry 
and I'm thinking we might have I don't know if to have it up there up there I might have it there so I've already put this on a block so I'm thinking that will go in the corner nicely and then we can put that up there because this is a bigger stamp I am going to stamp uh, bring my ink to the ink pad to make sure I've got it all covered and then we're just going to stamp that in the middle like so let's press down a couple of minutes this is just like a, a simple stamping one so it's not like stepped up or anything uh, but I just wanted to show you how nice it is um, on this one I did stamp straight onto the card but I like this layout so I thought I'd stamp this on there this time now to do the butterflies it's straightforward I'm going to come in with the granny apple green and I've already got my leaves on the blocks and because of photopolymer you can line them up now I can't get my head in so because of the camera so I'm hoping this lines up all right when you're doing it without a camera you can actually see straight down and you know you're not missing anything which was that wasn't too bad there we go and then this one like that well hey i've got them on that's good for me now the butterflies like i said for this one the gorgeous grape one I'm going to bring in a bit of scrap paper because I actually stamped off with it. So there's two bits to it. There's the one infill. So I'm just going to stamp off like so. And then again, line it up and press down. And then on the top, I'm not stamping off. So this just lines up in here and you press down. And you see you get the two-tone effect on that so let's just put this out of the way i have actually got a splodge of ink on there i can see so we'll have to cover that up with a gem gems are brilliant you can cover so much up with them <laughs> um so we'll do my yellow one first so i stamped with daffodil delight first um, i stamp off and then stamp on so they're quite quick and easy to do these are going to be lovely to do with blends as well but i just wanted to show you how it worked with the infill stamps on these and then this is the mango melody and it just gives a bit of a, a highlight and then we had flirty flamingo and melon mambo so the whoops <laughs> so the flirty flamingo stamp off stamp on and then the melon mambo see i haven't got that quite straight but like i said i can't get my head right under it do you know i don't know what's up with me today but i'm getting the splodges everywhere so i'm going to do a lot of covering up in a minute Whoops, I love the way how this one stamps. It's spot on. Right, just let me clean my hands before I get any more mess over everything. Oh. I don't know. Not having a very good day today, I don't think. <laughs> right. And I also used, if you can see, this little dotty one round here. And I did that in Smoky Slate just to give a little bit of definition to it. And let's get my Smoky Slate out. And let me just see, did I stamp off or not? No. So I just did these along the bottom and up the side. And the same on this side. I 
I'm actually going to go all the way around with this one because I'm not putting the butterflies on the top so I'll join those up so it gives a bit of a border around it let's get our card base I'll stick this one to it Tombow's great because it means you can wiggle it about if you don't get it on quite straight. Oops. See, can you see how my car's not straight at the bottom? So I'm just going to bring my trimmer in. I must have cut it skew with when I cut it. better I can't do anything straight me lately so that's going to go on there and where did I put my label see I've only been here two minutes and I've lost stuff already oh I know where it is <laughs> under here so that is going to go on there oh do you know look I just don't know that's going to cover up that, which is fine. I'm going to have to do another one. It's just no good. I can't cope with all these uh, mucky bits. Right. So let's do another one. Right. So we need the board scrape. So, need to do some die cutting now. So, what I'll do is I'll just show you this card. Oh, so, we'll need that on there. So, this one, I've already die cut one out, but I need to die cut another one out, and also the uh, the border on this one. So, I might as well do that all together, and then I've got all our die cuts sorted. I'm just wipe this. So I'm actually going to do that in Mango Melody. And stamp that on there. Beautiful. Beautiful. And the other positive thoughts. Right. Yay, that's done it all right. So pop that up there to dry a minute. And I shall get the cutting emboss machine out. And we'll cut those out. And the two labels out. In this sim die cuts. We actually have, uh, that's the one I need, I need that one, I did see my label somewhere, oh yes, the good thing about this is it actually gives you two, so if you want to make a floating card, you can actually cut two lots out and cut one out and then the other one out, I just wanted to keep one out to show you, um, and there's this little butterfly in there and it embosses it's gorgeous so I just thought I'd show you a couple of these that I've done and what I'll do is I might add these to the inside of the card or to the envelope but the detail in them I don't know if you can see that they're absolutely stunning right let's see if we can make a mess of this there's my label we need that we need the die cutting machine And we need our plates. One, two, three. 
one, two, and three. And the, where's my other one? Three. There he is. This one's where that had gone then. And let's go get our butterflies out. And you just line them up. When the magnetic plates are out, you'll be able to line them up a bit better. But it is pretty good. This one, I'll just catch my fingers on it, trying to move it. There we go. Bob on. Top plate on, and off it goes. So simple to use. Sorry if I was shaking you about. I keep forgetting about this, because my camera's attached to the desk, so it waggles and waffles a bit. Right, pop this up. Put flies are there. And same with this. Line that up. And off we go. Straight forward. And let's do the next one. Oops. Just knocked my handle off then. What a silly girl. Never mind. Got it back on. Oops. Line that up. Do this one. Sorry, you got a shot on my arm, but I find it easy just to push it through and then do it like that. Right, let's move this out of the way. Bring in my die cuts and let's put these cards together. Right, so go back to the one we were on, Karen, and then we won't get all messed up. Right, so I'm going to stick this down. I'm sorry it's been a bit waggly and all over the place, but I just think it's been one of those days. We all get them days now and again, don't we? Whoops, put it on the right way as well, Karen. I can't stick things straight today. Right. And that's going to go up there. Oh, see, I might hit again. That's going to go on there like that with some dimensionals. Which were on my desk. There they are, they're still on my desk, that's good. Good start. Use some of these up. See, good use in the dimensionals, use the whole pack up. Him on there like that and then we're going to bring in some pretty gems and these are the basic rhinestones love these I think they're gorgeous and cover up the imperfection and nobody will ever know apart from you so. Uh, let's put a little one down here. Can't get enough gems. Right, and what also what I thought, I did have a couple of spare butterflies, I noticed. So we could actually, we can cut these out and we can add them on. I know it's supposed to be simple card, but why not put them on instead of wasting them? Let's, uh, Let's trim off the bits where they were attached, like so, and put him on there. Where's my yellow one? I'm just going to trim round him because he's uh, he was a little bit off, I think. There we go. Bit of glue. And that just fills up the space. 
and the same with this one. And then just one more gem under here, I think. Oops. There we go. How pretty is that? Lovely jubbly. Right, now we should be able to just put this other card together because we've cut all the bits out now, so we should be right. So, Mango Melody Base. Right, let's just find my card so that we can do it how I did it on that one. Right, so on this one, first of all, I need my uh, Smoky Slate. I'm going to bob some more of these around the outside. See, you don't have to go all the way around. You can just do like the corners like this. Why have I got an extra sheet in there? Ugh. Oh, I give up. I give up with ink today. I think we'll just carry on. Look, again. All I can say is thank God for gemstones. Mind you, that does look like it is part of it. Just going to do an extra one in the middle. Nope. There we go. So I suppose there could be a bit of it. <laughs> I'd try anything, me. Right. So we're going to adhere this to this. These are quite quite quick and simple to make. Once you get the hang of using the stamps, because I was a bit daunted at first when I got them. But the fab now. Do you know, I think all my card bases have gone to pot today. I'm just going to st stick this on. I'm going to have a very narrow border. Yeah, just my cutting must have gone skew with it at some point. Because usually these just fit on perfect. But when you have a trimmer, you can trim. So, yeah, so that's going to go on there. I'm going to stick it down first because the others are stuck up. It just makes it easier to stick them down first. Right. That's better. Right, now because the label is going to go up here, right, we're going to have our butterflies sort of like this. Yeah, I'm going to, have to go up a bit more. And then this one, just need to make sure you poke your bits out. Usually they come out, but I noticed I didn't clean my dye properly last time I used it, so that's probably why these are still stuck in. And then this one's going to go up there like that. So what I'm going to do is just grab them, keep hold of them, and then get the dimensionals, which I think I'm just going to have to grab a new packet. I didn't realise I was this far down them, but what you do is you just bridge them like this, and then it's not going to move. Let's use these bits up on here. Grab a new packet out. Watch all these be small ones now. Yeah. <clears throat> oh, now I've got big ones. And then off we go. Down. Just make sure that it's all really well covered and then it'll stick up nice. I'm 
that one I'm just going to put half a bit on along this bit here oops there we go and we'll that one there and then that should be enough and then just one last check before I put it down so you could even come down like that yeah we'll do that right get all these I should have uh, just try my picky tool again that make it a bit quicker I should actually do this all the time and then I wouldn't have so many in that lying about Oops. One thing about them, they stick. <laughs> right, whoops. There we go. Oh. Uh, so I'm just going to come down to about there. Like so. I like it. I like that in my mango melody. It's really nice. And come back with the gemstones basic rhinestones these are love gems you can never get too many gems and I did forget to do something on the other card I knew I would but we'll do it in a minute there we go that's not bad. Right, where's my purple one? Right, so the only thing I forgot to do was Wink Stella it. So let's get your Wink Stella and go over all the butterflies. I'm just going to do all the yellow ones first. Wipe my brush, come back to the uh, pink ones. I think this is one of the best crafting things is the Winker Stella. I go through loads of this because I love the glitz. And then takes two minutes. Just shake it down. The only trouble is sometimes when you shake it you end up with a big blob. So. There. Lovely jubbly. I don't know whether did I sparkle the back of it as well. No, I didn't. Right, so thank you. So there's the two cards we've made today. Mango Melody and Gorgeous Grape. And these ones I made in Mambo. No, not mambo. Melon mango. No. Melon mango? No, melon mambo. Yes, that's right. <laughs> I'm cracking up. So those are the three cards I've made. A two thank you cards, sending positive thoughts, and I carried on with the sending positive thoughts uh, theme because they'd be nice to send out to some friends to cheer them up. And we used the uh, floating and fluttering brand new stamp set absolutely gorgeous a lot you can do with that and the words came from wherever i've put it which i don't know there it is from the wonderful as you so thank you so much for joining me today and i hope you can join me again next week i hope it wasn't too up and down with me but we'll get there eventually thank you very much have a safe time